Today we're going to show you how to build this beautiful living wall. Jim, tell us about the design. Well, we've tried to keep it very simple. The, uh, it's quite a small format. Well, we've done that because we want it to kind of look like a painting uh, feature and we could hang it outside on a fence, but we could bring it inside also and hang it over your desk, your couch, something like that. We've also made it extremely adaptable in that we build the backboard first and apply the, uh, the planter boxes. So you can put as many or as few on as you want. You can uh, put them in any configuration. If you have hanging plants and you want to accommodate plants that grow upright, you can do all that. It's extremely customizable. Sounds great. And of course, we're using Western Red Cedar for this project because it's naturally resistant to rot, decay, and insects, making it ideal for all your outdoor projects. Plus, it's just a really beautiful wood, so if you do decide to bring it indoors, it's really going to enhance your living space. So, what's the first step? First step is to build the uh, backboard. Okay, let's get started. So, what dimensions are we using for this? Multiple dimensions. We got 1x4, 1x6, 2x2, and good old 2x6. In our industry, 2x6 is probably our most common dimension. We use a lot of it for exterior work, decks especially, miles of decks in this. They last a long time and they make us look good. And we're going to use a beautiful knotty grade of Western Red Cedar, which is really going to add a lot of warmth and texture to the project. It sure is. Okay, should we start cutting? Absolutely. Okay. So the backboard is all cut, laid out, and it's got spacers. That didn't take long at all. No, that's because the cut list is very basic. It's just a bunch of 90 degree cuts and a few um, miters, real easy to do. Um, and also we're working with Western Red Cedar. Western Red Cedar is straight, it's true, the tools love it, and it just makes us look good. So why do we start with the middle strap? Uh, we start with the middle strap because it gives us a bit of flexibility. We've got it all laid out, we screw it all together, and then we can tweak it. Um, and adjust it a little bit if it needs it. Whereas if we started with the end, we might lose that. Ah, good pro tip. So Jim, why did you offset the screws like this? Well, there's a couple reasons. One, um, it's kind of a carpenter's uh, rule of thumb that you never line up your fasteners. You kind of spread them out a little bit. It lessens the chance of the wood splitting. And then number two, it's a one by four. We're, we're trying to bring the whole thing from a structural perspective into play. So if we offset it, we get better purchase on what we're screwing to and it'll just be overall way stronger. We want this to be very strong because it's gonna be supporting the planners and there's a lot of weight involved. Good to know. So what's the next step? Next step is to flip it over and then we're gonna apply an optional two by two frame. Okay. And for more detailed instructions, you can go to realcedar.com for free downloadable building plans. Jim, it's coming along beautifully, and I just love the tonal range of cedar. We've got some nice warm browns here, some nice honeyed hues, and the texture looks gorgeous too. Tell us about that. Yeah, so this one by six comes one smooth side, one rough side. We decided in this case we wanted the rough side out, so we turned the rough side down, built it, now we flipped it and look at this. It's gorgeous. So why do we use the spacers on the corner like this? Well, we wanted this two by two frame to pop and to present itself like a, um, a picture frame essentially. So these spacers allow this reveal to happen. And uh, I think it's worked. Yeah, it's great. So I guess the next step is to set this aside and start building the boxes? Yes, that's okay. it. So Jim, let's talk about the boxes. Yeah, so we've got five We've got the components for five boxes here in three different sizes. Those sizes are based on standard liners that are available at any big box store. 
perfect, three sizes. They are a little high for our needs, so we've cut them down, which was very easy. It was not a problem. So now we end up with a nice vessel that'll hold the dirt and the water and won't leak. Great, and that's especially important if you're bringing your living wall inside. Absolutely. And actually more and more people are starting to introduce elements of nature, such as western red cedar, into their homes because it promotes well-being. It also reduces stress and stress-related illnesses, which is another reason to love western red cedar. Sure is. So Jim, we're on the home stretch here. Yes, we are. And not only is this a great looking project, but it's actually a green project. And that's because woods such as Western Red Cedar actually sequester carbon and help fight climate change. Oh, that's excellent. So it's a choice you can feel good about. It sure is. So what's the last step? Okay, last step is to position the boxes, which we've done, and then we're going to screw the boxes on from the back side. That way it'll be blind, you won't see it, and uh, it's real simple to do. Okay. Well, it looks amazing. Another great job, Jim. Well, thank you. I just want to show this one design feature here. So with each box, you left an inch on either side, so there's room for fingers to slip the liners in and out without them getting wedged. That's right. Nice touch. 